Ladies and gentlemen, we have our judges' scorecard. Judge number one scores the fight. Are you fully prepared? Walk into that option on again? Oh, for sure, man. Long time coming. Long time coming. Too long of a layoff, to be honest. But um, now we're ready, man. Ready to go. Yeah, so, uh, you warm up? Yeah. Good enough? You got a light swipe going right now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, great. Seeing as what hap what's happening this weekend. Fight time, baby. Shoot time. Staying fresh for the for the event? Yes sir, fight night fresh. Wanna tell us tell us about your opponent? My opponent, Aaron Holmes. I believe he's ranked number five at the moment. He's coming up from Portland. Tough kid, should be a good scrap. Yeah. Just gonna walk out of there with a W. I genuinely don't get nervous. Because I know the work I put in beforehand. There's nothing that anybody, at least at the level that I'm fighting at, is going to be able to show me that I haven't seen a thousand different times against way better fighters at the gym. Like, the guys we got at Lions right now, man, honestly, best team in the city, most likely. Like, I, anything that I'm going to see in the octagon, I've seen hundreds of times, thousands of times in the training room. And I just don't think, there's nothing to be nervous about, you know? Like, if you've seen it all before, it's all gonna be the same. I get nervous when other people fight. Like when my teammates fight, yeah, dude, my heart rate goes up and everything. But, um, nah, not for my own, man. But I know what I can do. Yeah. I'm from Iran. Uh, I came here when I was three years old. I'm 20 years old right now, so about 17 years old. Yeah. Grew up in North Korea. It's been a minute I've been doing this. About five days a week, four hours a day, give or take, for consistently for about three years. Uh, it doesn't seem like that long, but I put in a lot of hours. A lot of hours. Yeah, you get to showcase it on Saturday. So that's what we all work for. Events taking place at the Hard Rock Casino in Coquitlam, BC. So, can you explain how you can cut so much weight and then recover so quickly for a fight? Hey man, I ain't no scientist, but <laughs> we just do it. Shit, like it's, it's not really too much to explain. The week of the fight, we cut a lot of water out to make the weight. It's a little bit of dehydration, but it's part of the game. It's all good. And then as soon as we, we make weight, we drink a lot of water, get a lot of carbohydrates, sodium, just put the weight back on. The change is pretty drastic. Like guys are, they look emaciated at weigh-ins, and then fight night comes around, and they look like superheroes. So I guess the human body is just cool that way. Did you guys read my sweat now? Not yet. Yeah, go. I'm gonna make sure you do some kicks right here. Yeah, I'm gonna do some kicks right here. I thought like, look. Right away, sure wore a rain jacket. Aren't you not supposed to like end it uh, 24 hours? Before? If I'm doing a 12 o'clock weigh-in, okay, five o'clock hits, that's when I know I'm not gonna have food, I'm not gonna have water, I'm not gonna have anything. I'm probably gonna struggle at that point. Let me struggle at that point. I don't need to struggle for the whole fucking day, whole week, and all that kind of stuff, right? So you're working out, you're burning calories anyway. You're not having that many calories in your body anyways, right? So it's like you're already in a deficit. So you're gonna lose weight regardless, right? Then when it comes to the water, same thing. You're sweating out so much liquid. Right? You're not putting the same amount of liquid back in. You're still gonna be at a deficit. Right? So even if that one liter goes throughout the whole fucking day, it's one liter compared to how much you're gonna be sweating out. You know what I mean? Let's start speeding up. Seven, six, five, come on, four, three, two, one. Another minute, I'll wipe you down. Okay? Keep that on, I'll just go from the front. So keep it open and then I'll just kind of like maneuver my way. Not down the pound And this is like a giant How do you like uh, prepare someone for their like first weight loss? Kind of wake up. Man, there's, there, there's no way to prepare for it. It's like a rude awakening, right? It's, it's, a, it's a rude awakening. You can prepare as much as you want, you can do as much research as you want. It's the first time your body's kind of dealing with that kind of stuff, right? So 
Uh, the best way to prepare for it, have knowledge of people around you that are going to help you and support you through it. That's the only way. Ask questions and just kind of move forward from there. You know what I mean? For me, I was just non-stop with my, with my coaches, my teammates, the guys that I've done it before. The first time I ever did it, same thing. Just making sure, okay, guys, am I doing this right? Yes, you're good, you're good, you're good, right? When you don't have that kind of support, that's when people, you know, that's when people miss weight, that's when people make mistakes, that's when people sometimes get hospitalized and stuff, right? Okay, wipe down, buddy. Let's go. Open up. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's dripping. He's dripping. This sucks. <laughs> but it's easier than when it gets to a sauna and you gotta use a credit card. That's the tough one. <laughs> you look comfy anyways. Yeah, I feel great. Right? Uh, okay. Buddy, you're on. Don't worry about it. It's good to go, buddy. Good. Yeah. Well, fuck this guy up, making me cut all this weight. Fuck this guy. If anyone's watching this, hey, appreciate water. It's a fucking, it's a magic thing. That and carbs, to be honest. Yeah. Fucking salt everything. Salt your water, salt, salt your carbs, salt everything. And then tomorrow we're gonna see what I wake up at. If I wake up super low, like 38-ish, then we might just float the weight, meaning we'll just like walk around and be active in the day, and then we'll just make weight later on. Um, but if, I, if I'm like 140 or whatever, then I'll, um, then I'll uh, bath. Then I'll take a bath tomorrow night. Either way, we're making the weight, so it's all good. <laughs> If it doesn't involve fighting, I am not interested. If I'm at home chilling, I'm watching fight videos, I'm watching tutorials, I'm watching te technique breakdown, I'm studying tape. There's really not much of my free time that I do outside of fighting that doesn't involve some sort of martial art. Other than that, I'm training. Doing, either I'm doing some strength and conditioning or fight training, martial arts. This is, this is my day pretty much revolves around how I could make myself a better fighter. Are you coming out to the fight this weekend? Yes, of course. <laughs> Got the support. He's my man. <laughs> All the, every time, you know? Yeah. When he, he has a fight, I go to, to see the fight. What did you think about his first performance? The first, uh, the first in the fight he was in? The after. best. It was good. <laughs> in terms of motivation, I mean, I'm, I'm, all, I'm always motivated to train. Let's go, this is the fun part. There I go, man. Shit right. <laughs> smells so good. Yeah, I can smell it. So yeah. Good. For the champ. The champ camp, baby. Shout out to my boy Alan. It's so coming in. Well, best haircut. Yeah, best. King hair design. Boom, Alan. To best the fade guy in the city. You know how it King is. King hair design, North Vancouver, Lonzo. Hit him up. My boy Alan will hook you up. Boom. Tim, with the champ. Hey. Boom. <laughs> May wait, baby. May wait. How no you feeling? Over. How you feeling? I feel fucking great. Yeah. Honestly, like last time you probably saw me, I was in a dark, dark spot. I was uh, dehydrated, hungry, tired, everything. Now I feel like a fucking million dollars. Man. Doing really good. Yeah. Ready hey. to go. I got on the scale at, uh, it's been about seven hours. Seven hours. Seven hours just pounded Gatorade, water, yeah. Pedialyte, food. Man, it just goes right. Like seven hours ago, like I, I didn't want to talk, but like uh, I'm good to go, man. I'm good to go. <laughs> fun time comes tomorrow. That's the real fun time. Yeah. Eating and drinking is all well and good, but working some ass. And that's that's something different. Did you get a chance to check out your opponent? Uh, yeah, we will in a, in a little bit. And they're going to be doing a face-off here. For the first time, they're going to be checking each other out face-to-face. Yes, -face. What do you think that moment's going to feel like? I'm going to read him. I'm going to try and read him, see where his head's at. I think as soon as he sees me, he's going to realize he's in, he's in it. It'll be interesting. The first face-off is always very, very interesting.
So all done. All done. So how's it to face him for the first time there? Ah, it's all right. He's he's pretty harmless. <laughs> it's all good. The fight that got me in the sport, boys. Green trunks for the southpaw, the notorious Conor McGregor. Black trunks for the champion, Jose Aldo Jr. Conor relaxed and smiling. Oh, oh no! My! Just he slept him. like that! Conor McGregor oh! is the new UFC featherweight champion of the world! Oh, unbelievable! The first punch he threw! Where were you when that uh, knockout happened? I was in my dad's office watching the fight. <laughs> Just by my damn self. You didn't miss it, right? I didn't miss it. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. And now it's just time to have fun, boy. What do you got planned for your entrance? You have a, a song set yet, or? It's a song I don't listen to often, but when I do, like it's always time of work. Like when I, whenever I listen to that song, it's always either before a fight. Or before a like a sparring session, I know it's gonna be it's gonna test me. So I listen to it before like big moments. Um, it's called uh, Tupac Light Legend. It's one of those songs that just clicks. Hundred years from now, everyone's gonna know who George St. Pierre is. He's just one of those. Sort of legends that always stick around. So legendary, you get the term. Once you get to that legend status, uh, whether you're living or not, you're gonna be living the term. You know, the so it's, it's yeah, that song. That song gets me going. Even thinking about it now, to be honest, like, I want to get up and start shadow boxing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest is a bantamweight MMA bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds. His opponent standing to my right. Fighting out of Lions MMA in Vancouver, BC, with a record of one win, no losses. Tonight, he is making his second BFL appearance. Please welcome Cena Manny! Gentlemen, we have our judges' scorecard. Judge number one scores the fight 30 27 blue. Judge number two scores the fight 29 28 red. 
And judge number three scores the fight 29-28 for your winner by split decision. The fighter in the red corner. Whoa! I wanted a fight. I got a fight. Yeah, it was satisfied. It was intense fight. All the amateur fights when you watch, everybody gets too riled up, too excited. You know, they don't even get time to put you know the Vaseline on the face and stuff. They're rushing in. They waste it out. Cena was the only one who just walks out there like he knows what's gonna happen. You know, uh, he's got that confidence mm -hmm. and he's just got that freaking ice running through his veins, man. It's good. It's dope. It's freaking awesome. Second and third round were definitely his. That's definitely a close fight. That first round though scared the fuck out of me. Yeah. Yeah. And then I actually took a look at him, I was like... At the end of the third round, I could say I'm proud of this guy, man. See ya? Second win. Hey. Two hundred more to go, eh? <laughs> that, was, that was a tough fight, but Cena showed that he's, he's, he's ready, man. He's yeah. ready. Fuck, man. That was a really stressful <laughs> fight for us. <laughs> for us. Yeah. Because it was a super close fight. Yeah. Didn't expect the way it You were probably more go. nervous than him, huh? Yeah, dude, like... <laughs> Actually, like today, I was more nervous than actually when I fight. Yeah. So uh, when Cena knocked him down and like yeah. went over and <laughs> I almost choked him. The second round, if he had been allowed to ground and pound, that would have been done. Exactly. First round, there was no chance. Yeah. It would have been done. Second round, hundred percent. So I would have been a title shot tomorrow. He'll kill it, but <laughs> let's get it. Let's, let's get. get let's it. get it. Let's get it, bro. Join board. Join board. You know what I mean? <laughs> you don't have that long to do the sport. Enjoy it. Like, don't take it so damn serious. It's a serious business, but have fun. Like, you, you're doing what you love. Like, there's no point in being all fucking uptight about everything. And enjoy the process. Love what you do. And I'm taking that advice to heart. I love what I do, 100%.